Hey guys, what's up? This is Connor here. Hope you're having an amazing day as per usual. In today's video, I wanna talk about the seven lessons that I learned from a six day hike with zero training and zero experience, right? You're probably wondering kind of why the fuck did you do that? Great question. <laughs> I don't, the, the reason why I did it was because about seven or eight months ago, uh, my dad actually asked me whether or not I'd like to go on a hike with him and I thought, why not? Because you know my you know my dad's getting older, and I thought there's uh, there, there may not be many times or situations that I'll be able to experience something like that. So I thought, fuck it, let's book it. I think it was like two thousand something dollars to go, um, and then there was a bunch of hiking equipment needed, which I accumulated over a certain of couple of months' time. I bought my boots over into hiking boots in Dubai. Um, some super hiking boot, expensive hiking boots that I'll probably rarely ever use again, and a bunch of other different equipment that uh, my dad organized for me, which I'm very grateful. But nonetheless, this was the first time that I haven't had Wi-Fi um, or worked for such a long period of time. I've worked in some way, shape, or form every single day for the past four or five plus years, right? Whether or not that's training in sales, taking sales calls, whatever it is, I've always done something that is classes work for the past four or five plus years, and I've never actually really taken time off per se. Uh, so this was a very interesting experience, uh, especially not having access to Wi-Fi for six days it was definitely a new experience for sure. So I've got a few lessons I'd like to highlight today that I think some of you watching this video might be able to take some value from, right? Learn through my experience, don't have to go on a six day hike, uh, if you don't want to, okay? So <laughs> some of these aren't directly related to hiking, but I'm sure that some of you will enjoy the takeaways, okay? So lesson number one is be present, right? I think a lot of people talk about being present, but don't really realize what that actually means. A lot of people in the general day-to-day -day life, they run through a lot of unconscious programming. They're not very self-aware of their own thought. Um, and they think that the thoughts are them. Right, where in reality, a lot of people don't actually take time to think, and that's why I think meditation is so popular. Um, it's not something I do personally, it's something I'm looking to do in the future, but um, it's something that I haven't quite prioritized and yet mastered. But I think being on that trip, as I mentioned, it was the first time that, you know, that I've had in a long time, in like four or five years, that I haven't had Wi Fi or that I haven't worked really. And what I noticed is it was super interesting just to come back to the real world, right? Especially with a lot of online entrepreneurs that I meet and know and like people who are in the, like the, the sales space or you know, work online, your life is basically online. And so taking your head out of the sand for a little bit was really, really nice. There was, there was, a, there was something that uh, one of my mentors, James, uh, said to me about a year ago uh, at a personal development event. And he said, most people think a lot of the time in the past or in the future, but very few people spend time in the present. Where you really should be thinking is 10% in the future, 10% in the past, but 80% in the present, because too many people worry about what's gonna happen next week, what's gonna happen the day after, a month from now, a year from now, years from now, or they're too busy reflecting on events that have happened in the past. I've made mistakes. I've done shitty things, I've done stupid things, I'm sure you've probably done shitty things, right? That's okay. That's the whole human experience and it's, it's okay to make mistakes, right? You need to less reflect on the past, less think about the future, but really spend your time being present with your loved ones, your friends, the people that you spend the most time with. That is when you need to be present. I think far too many people are always go, 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 but never really just sit and think and be present. Um, it's a lot to say that you are present, but to actually be present is a completely another thing. So I think just being on this experience really again gave me that reminder that I really need to take a step back sometimes and really just be present. Stop worrying about the phone, stop worrying about you know, you know, making success online and all those type of things. Sometimes it's just time to just be present and uh, spend time with your loved ones, which is a really, really cool takeaway. So that's point number one. Point number two is do shit that's unknown and that is uncomfortable, right? 
going on a six day hike with no training, no experience, right? That was very unknown and very uncomfortable. Uh, and so I think getting regularly used to doing things that are outside of your comfort zone is really important because that is the pivotal piece for growth, right? There were so many things of just like sleeping out on a tent and doing this and, and doing that. Like I haven't done that ever. Um, and especially going for seven, eight hour walks in hail, rain, snow. Like it was a crazy, absolutely crazy experience. And everything on that trip was completely unknown. Didn't know what we were going to eat. Like couldn't, couldn't plan it. Uh, and I'm, I like to plan a lot and I like to have a lot of known variables. This is the same thing with high ticket sales, making money online, or really just growth in general, is you're going to have to do shit that's unknown, that's uncomfortable. When you invest in somebody like myself, when you invest in a mentor, when you do something different that is to the masses, it's gonna be unknown, it's gonna be uncomfortable, you're gonna look stupid, you're gonna do shitty things, you're gonna, you're gonna fuck up, right? That's okay, right? The key thing is, I talk about this a lot in my videos, is that you need to have undesirable results for success. And this is always gonna be the nature of the fact, but too many people always put things off because they feel like they're gonna look stupid, um, it's unknown and it's uncomfortable, right? You have to do the things that you don't want to do to get to where you wanna go. This is what we call um, discipline. I'm sure you've probably heard of it, okay? So that's point number two. Point number three is do shit that is hard. Right, we talked about unknown, uncomfortable. What about hard things? Because I can guarantee you anything else that I had to do that week or the following week was easy. Because again, I've gone a six day hike. I really tested myself mentally and physically, right? It was a true challenge for sure. Uh, by the next, the second or third day, my knees were absolutely busted and in agonizing pain <laughs> because I was going you know, up on the incline, down in the incline, and look, my body just wasn't physically ready for it. And everybody else in the group felt the exact same way as I did. It wasn't just me. Uh, but, you know, it was extremely physically challenging. Um, let's put it that way. Physically and mentally challenging sometimes. Um, because there was times where, you know, I either might be at the front of the pack or I might put myself at the back of the pack or in the middle, something like that. Where, although we were hiking a group, I was actually by myself. So it was really interesting um, pointing back to the be present fact earlier of just being able to analyze my thoughts and, and not being in front of technology all the time. We, I think we always get consumed by um, all these different brain noise, I guess, from the day-to-day, -day, the um, relationships we have, you know, social media, um, music, podcasts, anything. There's, there's so many distractions nowadays and I thought it was really interesting just to be by myself for a bit. And... Uh, by being hard, it was mentally challenging because every single day I have all this mental stimulation. I do this, I do that, and rah, rah, rah. Everything's online for me nowadays. And so like, just to really put the phone down and not have any music, no nothing, just listening to nature um, and just hiking by myself almost was a really, really cool experience. And it was extremely, extremely hard to do. Physically challenging and mentally challenging as well. So that was a cool takeaway there. Point number four, lesson number four, it's less to do with success, it's less to do with any of these types of things. But the point is, is life experience has cool stories. Uh, the first day, uh, it was really, really challenging for most people because you're not used to the tent set up, you're not used to getting up early in the morning um, when it's freezing cold and packing up the tent and, and doing all that type of stuff that you had to do. Um, and the first day, my dad unfortunately ended up twisting his ankle. I wasn't sure how we were going to go uh, the days moving forwards. Fortunately, uh, he felt better and we kind of rolled through and everything worked out well. Uh, but yeah, I was thinking, oh shit, like what's, what's actually going to happen next? Because, you know, dad was struggling to walk. So I'm, <laughs> I wasn't sure how we're going to battle through it, but he made it through. So I'm extremely proud of him. But um Life experience has cool stories. You know, we're sitting around just having dinner. Um, the the tour guides, or I think you call them tour guides, uh, they it was, it was Bell and Oscar that were, were taking us, and they would do cooking for us every night, which was a big part as to why you have a guide, is because they know what to do. They're going to give you food, all that type of stuff. So it was a lot more streamlined um, through that. Like they do your lunch and your, your dinners and things like that. Anyways, 
we were sitting around for dinner and it was just fascinating to watch considering that I was one of the youngest people there by a long shot. Uh, I think most people there were at least 50 plus um, and I myself, I'm 22, turning 23 in three days. Um, and just watching like uh, all the guys just huddling around in a circle. Um, I think majority of them were dads as well. And just watching them share stories about different life experiences. Uh, like for example, there was an older gentleman uh, named Woz who's done quite a lot of traveling in his lifetime talking about stories about you know, Mount Everest and all these other crazy stories. And I thought it was just really interesting that, again, uh, it's, I think it's really important to go out there and experience life. You know, As I mentioned before, uh, myself personally, I spend a lot of time inside working, doing sales calls, developing, working on myself. Uh, and I think it's really, really important to have a key takeaway there of like, go and do the stuff, go and live life, right? There's a healthy balance between work and actually having a bit of play. And sure, as you're on the come up and you're working really hard, yes, you need to do these things. Yes, you need to make sacrifices. Yes, you do need to work hard. But I think there is an element of really committing to still living your life. Uh, a lot of people that watch my training videos, training videos, my YouTube videos, uh, are quite young um, and just like yourself as you probably are going through right now you're probably hustling you're probably grinding you're probably working really hard but my advice is just to you is still go out and experience things go have fun have stories because again it was really cool to see these guys just huddling around after an absolute smashing day of like I think it was seven hours of hiking with keep in mind by the way a 20 for me, it was a 23 kilo backpack on my back, on my back, right? So it wasn't just walking without anything. It was 23 kilos on my back. So it was quite heavy and it was, it was a bit of a struggle. Everybody's tired. Everybody's stinky. It's like, it's not looking good. There was no showers the whole trip, by the way. Um, and yeah, it's just really cool to see these guys just sharing and, and bonding over stories. And yet we'd only really met the first night. So I think that was a really cool takeaway as well. Point number five, uh, there's no point being the richest man in the graveyard. I actually spoke to uh, an amazing gentleman named Sean on the trip. I think he actually owned a IT firm or some type of consulting company. He does quite well for himself. I think he was in his 50s. And he was telling me, we're having a chat, probably I think it was like maybe on the fifth or sixth day and we're just, because we're at the head of the pack uh, and we're just waiting for everyone to arrive so we could start setting up our tents. Um, because my dad had one half the tent and I had the other. And he, he said to me, he showed me a picture and he said to me, it was, it was telling me some context story, I can't remember exactly, but what it actually led to is, you know, how people manage their stress, uh, how consumed people can be by their work, um, whether or not, you know, you know, they're taking, you know, some drugs or, you know, they're uh, super stressed or they're taking some, you know, weird medically prescribed medication, whatever it is, that really affects their health. Um, you know, these guys ended up getting cancer and all these other life altering conditions that actually ended up passing away. I think it was a photo of him and seven other buddies. And he said, Connor, I'm the only person alive out of this whole group. And the reason why is because I've focused on my health. And I think it's just not talked about um, often enough in the, just in general, with, with success. Because it's always like hustle, grind, hustle, grind, hustle, grind, get the stuff done. But I don't think enough people talk about how important uh, you should have a focus on your health. Because again, I think a lot of people sacrifice, make the mistake of sacrificing the health rather than other sacrifices as well. And so I think this is a big kick in the guts for me uh, as a reminder of it doesn't matter how much money that you get. It doesn't matter how successful you get. If you are not healthy, none of that shit matters. And so I think a big uh, priority of focus for me, probably moving towards next year, is focusing towards my health, right? Getting into biohacking, making sure I'm consistent with certain things like gym, eating, um, all that type of stuff. You know, I'm relatively okay with it now, but I could definitely be much better, right? You know, implementing certain certain things into my uh, schedule like saunas and all that type of stuff whatever it might be i think for me i'm going to make a commitment towards next year to really focusing and prioritizing my health 
um, especially as a young man, I think that's you know a really really important thing. And a lot a lot of you that watch my training my training videos, again my YouTube videos uh, are quite younger. So I think it's a very very important thing that when you're younger you feel like you're invincible, but it happens very quickly as you age faster. Uh, sorry, as you age, which happens much quicker by the way. Um, I noticed from 22 to 23 this year, uh, my the, the time just went so quickly. I think this year happened in a blink, right? Way way too fast you don't realize how important of uh, a factor that health plays into things, especially as you get older. So I think a big thing for me, again, was, again, there's no point being the richest man in the graveyard. So focus on your health, not just wealth and success, okay? Point number six, it's you versus you, right? Funny story, uh, probably on the fifth day, perhaps, or fourth day, I can't remember, absolutely struggling struggling really tough day i think this was the day that we woke up uh, with our tents covered and caked in snow absolutely fucking exhausted um having to end up you know pack up my dad and i stuff being late for breakfast all that type of stuff it was a chaotic day and we're about halfway through uh after hiking through again hours of snow rain hail all the stuff stuff you couldn't really even imagine if you've ever seen uh the first batman that is what I would uh, I would compare it to, right? Where uh, Bruce is climbing the mountain to go. Uh, I don't remember the the actual character's name, but um, I think it was to go see Raz Al Ghul, uh, the, the Liam Neeson, <laughs> um, the actor in that little group there. Uh, that's how pretty much how it felt like climbing through mountains and snow and all that type of stuff. It was absolutely crazy experience. Just when you think that you're doing better, someone can be doing way better than you. What I mean by you versus you is literally look over to our left and there's a guy literally running with no backpack, no hiking backpack like ours, the 23 kilo ones. He just, he was fucking running a six or seven day hiking track in get this seven and a half hours. What took us six, seven days to, to hike he ran it in just seven and a half hours, which was just absolutely crazy to me. I don't understand what goes through someone's mind on to, as to why you would want to do that. But the key takeaway here is, again, there will always be someone out there that is better than you at what you do. And that is okay. You need to understand that comparison is the biggest thief of joy. While it be maybe healthy in some circumstances, it's really important to understand that, again, Comparison is the biggest thief of joy, right? There's always going to be someone that's better than you than what you do. And so you got to be in the game that's you versus you. One second. Hmm. Is there something else I can help with? <laughs> I'm not going to edit that out. I can't be bothered. Um, <laughs> uh, for those of you that are on the coaching calls, you know that Siri uh, tends to bother me a lot. So anyways, continuing with the video. So again, you need to really think about this competition game against it's you versus you. Don't worry about anyone else. There's always going to be someone that's going to be better than you, makes more money than you, is more jacked than you, more bigger than you, gets more, uh, you know, majority of the people that watch my training, my videos are uh, men, so gets more girls than you, all that type of stuff. There's always going to be someone that out there that's better than you, and that's okay. So it's always going to be a you versus you game. So it's a very key reminder that, again, it's always someone that's better than you than what you're doing, and always be willing to get humbled, right? Final point, Uh, lesson number seven. It's about who's around you is what matters, right? And this is why I've created the community that I have in the RSA because I truly think that I've built something that doesn't exist out there and truly didn't exist when I first got in this industry in this space, which is a community of people that are on the way to achieving what you want to achieve and have already achieved it, but that aren't absolute dickheads, right? That aren't people that... Uh, you don't want to surround yourself with, right? Everyone in the community, I'm very selective with who I uh, kind of let inside the RSA. You'll see there's a new question. If you apply to uh, the RSA, I ask, why do you think you're the fit for the RSA? Because we are very selective. Because a big component of the RSA is a lot to do with community, right? And there was a woman whose name was Liz. She was 71 years old. Get that, 71 years old. And she did a six-day hike with us. Absolute machine. 
And we're talking about some reflections of the entire trip, uh, you know, kind of concluding, concluding uh, some conclusions and some reflections of the last night. Um, and Liz said that she really enjoyed the trip because it's about who's around you is what matters. Absolute struggle for her. You know, imagine being 71 and doing a six-day hike. It's something that I still struggle with, <laughs> being 22 years old. What an absolute legend. Um, and she said, again, it's about, it's about who is around you is what matters. And the group that we went along with on the trip was about 10 of us, uh, all gelled really well. So many people from different backgrounds, different cultures, different stories. Um, and I think it was amazing. I think a big thing for you watching this video is something that's really critical to your success is that my, myself personally with my own journey, I was basically doing all of this on my own because I had no one else to go to. The community that I was a part of was shit and I had to create my own community. And I had to create my own tribe. That's why I've done what I've done at the RSA because again, it's truly about who you're, you're around with is, is what matters. Um, that's why I travel with people. I live with people overseas because it's fun doing it by yourself, but it's 10 times fun with other people, but more importantly, the right people, okay? So those are my key takeaways, guys. I know this video is a bit long, but for those of you that watch the YouTube channel quite regularly, I'm sure that you would have enjoyed it or have got some takeaways here and there. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. That's my takeaways, my lessons from going on a six-day hike with no experience and zero training. Okay, so if you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and give it a like. We're going to have Siri butt in I here again. Could you try again? This is the most unraw so this is the most raw and filtered content you're going to find on youtube let's put it that way <laughs> as i was saying if you enjoyed today's video feel free to go ahead and uh you know punch the the punch click the like button down below if you're not subscribed already subscribed probably about 75 percent of you that watch my videos aren't subscribed so yeah feel free to stick around for more content i'll see you guys in the next video and have an amazing week